for the for the expectation so far this season? Um, well, the expectation is very high. Um, you know, we have 13 returners, so um, a lot of leadership, um, a lot of prior knowledge about our system, uh, really a lot of player-owned um, sessions. Um, but the expectation for all of us is very, very high. So uh, going into an opening weekend, I mean, our expectation is to come back 2-0 and um, and to get better every single day. So last time, last year when we talked with you guys, you were coming off of a great end of the season. You yeah. guys made a ton of program history. Kept telling us how you're going to have everybody back. And now we're here at the beginning yeah. of this season. Um, you know, how cool is it to just be able to build off of what you guys did and what you guys showed the LFC what you guys were capable of? This group is just so much fun because they care so much. You know, as coaches, we don't have to worry about anything off the court. You know, they're just, they're, they're focused. Um, they're selfless. We don't have issues. We don't have drama. We just have really great women that care about each other that want to win. And so it's fun for us to coach this group, but their expectation is very high. So we don't have to coach that. We don't have to coach effort. Um, we just have to keep helping them grow as basketball players and um, put the pieces all together at the right time. Can you tell us about those pieces that you have on your roster, some of the, the incoming uh, players and uh, some of the returners? Or what you should uh, be expecting to do? Yeah, so um, Alexis Quadman would be one of those. Um, she already holds the records for blocks, boards, um, double doubles here, and so she's she's building on that. Um, if she averages 11 rebounds a game, she'll hit a thousand points. I'm I'm sorry, a thousand rebounds, and she should easily hit a thousand points this year. So she'd be the first player to ever do that, grab a thousand boards and score a thousand points. Holly Hemline is on track for a thousand as well. She's 22 away from the all-time threes. Hopefully, she gets that. Uh, sooner than later, but um, she should definitely get that record. Um, Avalon Munoz, I mean, she's she's a junior point guard for us that started since she was a freshman, um, who just is tough as nails. Um, she's 5'5", five, five and um, was defensive player uh, of the week a couple times last year for the Lone Star, and uh, second in assists, third in steals here at UTPV. So those are just some of the record holders, but those three play really, really well together. Uh, we have a returning junior that's played the last three years for us, Morgan Helgeson, Helgeson um, who's the best for, in my opinion, I'm biased, but in this conference, she could do a lot of things very well. Dre is back. Um, she's a point off guard. Um, she was leading us in all categories actually last year until she was injured before we started Lone Star Conference play. So we're excited for the Lone Star to see her, but she is fantastic. I could go on and on about our returners because they're all awesome. Um, Kamori, unfortunately, has taken a redshirt year this year. She tore her ACL in the summer, so we won't have her back, but we do have Dre healthy. So we think that's good stability for our returning group. Um, Diavion Spencer, I mean, she's an athlete that's kind of put the pieces together. She'll help us in our press a lot. She's a high-level athlete. Um, but we do have fantastic pieces. One big income player for us is Cam Lemon. She actually played at Odessa College a few years ago um, before she started for OU in the Big 12, and then she went to Long Beach, and um, now she's here. So really amazing story, and and we're pleased with her. I mean, she's fit, fitting in nicely. She can definitely play, but um, this is her fourth school, so fifth school, truly, as a grad transfer. So we're excited about her, but, I mean, I think we're athletic. We're deep. They're close. They have a lot of experience. They know what the Lone Star Conference is. So we're excited to get the season started this weekend. You mentioned all these returners, all these players. Just uh, talk about the chemistry that they have coming into the season and the importance that ha that they have, and kind of like that upper hand they have against other teams. You know, the chemistry is fantastic. I think you know they work on that. We work on it daily, and and you either have it or you don't. You know, you can work on the on the court stuff, but when you have on off the court, it certainly helps on the court. And and they're a really close team. They're very close. Um, even in their downtime, they're together, and we love that. Um, but chemistry and experience together, you know, just the adversity that they face has definitely made them tougher and stronger. And so to go into every game with prior knowledge and understand the value of every single conference game, I think you can always say it as coaches, but until you experience it, you know, to not make the tournament by losing a three-way tie um, still doesn't sit well with us. It still gives us, you know, our stomach drop. So for us to have our players feel that that same way, I think, they know what what opportunities we missed last year, and they're pretty determined to not allow that to happen again. So, um, 
the chemistry with that is is amazing. But again, we have to work on it um, every day in our culture, every day, and just continue to raise the bar with our standard. And with that comes growth. No games for you guys yet, um, but what have you seen in practice and scrimmage, whether it's against each other, against other teams um, that you're maybe looking to work on a little bit, or that you think is at a really good level right now? Well, I think every area for us really has a lot of room for improvement. Um, I think, you know, a thing that we're always going to hang our hat on is, is how hard we play on the defensive end. And so with the three scrimmages we had, um, we forced double the amount of turnovers that we had. And we're proud of that stat, and that's something that we really want to make sure we do. Our goal is to always take 15 more shots than our opponent. So we do that by stealing possessions and gaining offensive rebounds. And those two areas I think um, we'll always focus on, but, but with the scrimmages, I think we're off to a great start. Um, an area that we definitely want to continue to improve is just our ability to shoot at a high percentage. Um, so learning what a high quality shot is, working for a high quality shot, you know, we're working on that every single day. So yeah. Coach, like every year, every beginning of the season, every team has some type of storyline, especially with a good team. But so, what do you think this like team identity is heading into the season? That's a really great question. Um, determined. I think they're a very determined group of women that all really care about each other. So um, right now we're playing with a high level of, of pride, I think, for each other and and especially this group of seniors. You know, like we have two that have been here for five years. So where the program was and where the program is and where they want to leave it at, they still have work to do to, to reach their goals. As a collective whole, they're just extremely determined. So. Um, we work hard at being great and how we define that every single day. Thank you.